every summer at Miranda near the Firth of Thames, a natural spectacle takes place. Thousands of shorebirds from all over the globe flock here to feast at the mudflats and rest after their incredible journeys. The Miranda Shorebird Centre was created to house and educate visiting bird watchers. Let's find out more. These birds come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, different behaviours. And then when you throw in the fact that some of these birds come from the other end of the planet, and they do it every year, um, it's, it's pretty staggering. What is it about this habitat here at Miranda that makes the birds come every year? Well, it's not just here on the Firth of Thames. It's, it's anywhere where you have extensive areas of intertidal flats that, have got, that are rich in benthic life, um, crabs and shellfish and worms. That's the food source for these birds. And so anywhere where you have those, that food supply, most of the time you're going to have big flocks of birds. And here on the Firth of Thames, there's something like 8,500 hectares of intertidal flats. And so it's just a great place to be if you're a bird. Where do all the birds come from? Pied stilts, some of them breed here, New Zealand dotterel, variable oyster catcher. So some birds are actually resident species. We have other birds coming from elsewhere in the country, rye bill and, and pied oyster catcher from the South Island, banded dotterel from elsewhere in the North Island and the South Island. Um, then we have other birds coming from Siberia, uh, from Central Asia. Um, it's, it's really quite an extraordinary mix. It's a very, very important place for rye bill, the Firth of Thames, with um, over 40% of the entire species coming up here in the non-breeding season. They're the only bird in the world with a bill curve to the side. Uh, it makes them quite unique. Uh, they're found only in New Zealand. And so they are a core attraction. We have a lot of people from overseas coming to New Zealand bird watching. All of those people who have done any sort of research will come to Miranda because it's the best place for rye bill. What does the Miranda Shorebird Centre have to offer visiting bird watchers? Primarily we run an information centre so that we can give people information about where the birds are, what we've got around. We run a regular sightings board, species that have been seen recently. We've got places for people to come and stay, which is a, a good option for people who want to come and spend more than one tide. The main initiative uh, in recent years was in 1996 when the um, East Asian Australasian Shorebird Site Network was uh, launched. This was a network of important sites in, in up to 14 countries. All those countries signed into this agreement and the idea was to just identify the important sites, raise awareness about them, to make sure the local people were aware that they have a connection with other parts of the flyway. First semester in the, in the last semester of the school year we get a lot of, uh, a lot of school visits. What is it that the schools tend to want to focus on when they're here? It's mainly shorebirds, uh, some, some may be focusing on the coastal environment itself, on mangroves and salt marsh, that sort of thing, but mainly it's the shorebirds, particularly with the senior students who are doing migration as part of the curriculum, and therefore, you know, goblet migration doesn't get more interesting than that. Not only does the Miranda Shorebird Centre cater for thousands of migrating birds, but it's also a haven for birdwatchers from around the globe. 